So we'll start seated. <clears throat> Just take a moment to feel your edges, rocking side to side, forward and back, literally connecting to your roots. And if you can, envision trees and their root systems, and how steady that all is, that intricate system underneath our, our foundation, our earth. Just take a moment, feel your roots. There's nowhere else that you need to be right now. No one else to take care of, no to-do list, no demands. Just you here, taking the time to practice, tapping into source energy, and giving yourself a moment in this hour or so to just come back, come back home to the breath, come back home to the body. Eventually, the rocking gives us feedback to land and find stillness in the center. The roots run deep into the earth's core, the floor and extension of the earth itself. You can envision the spine line now through the center of our body, strong and steady, yet supple, clear, and then imagine an imaginary wall behind you that you're going to gently lean into and lift the chin ever so slightly, move the skull into the back plane and note that there's a little bit more room now in the throat and neck. Take a moment now that you're in this physical posture, your arrival here and now. Noting the tide of your breath moving in and out through the container of the body. Feeling its ebb and flow, feeling your connection to life. The breath, our most continuous friend that's always here. And join the palms together in front of the heart. Bowing the head slightly, just taking another moment of pause and peace, collecting your efforts, devoting your efforts to the practice. And may our efforts here together today be of benefit to all beings everywhere. Take a deep breath in, and then let it go. hands back to the knees or thighs, the eyes are made closed, feeling your comfortable seat, sitting tall, steady and grounded, and take a moment to fine-tune your awareness and feel bones, the bones in your body, envision the bones of the body, feeling their existence, and note how they're heavy. From the bones being heavy, feel now the soft tissue surrounding the bones, relaxed, free of holding or tension. Muscles over and under the bones, free of tension, soft and loose over the bones. Now begin to feel your natural breath. The breath already flowing through already happening. Let your awareness meet your breath and follow its natural ebb and flow. Note all of the little movements taking place within the body as the breath is taking place within you, the natural breath, soothing you, holding you, feeling held by the breath. Now begin to notice your mind. Thoughts moving in and out. Let the thoughts, whatever they are, come and go. Like you're watching cars drive by on the road. Letting the thought come and go. Passing by. No need to jump in the car and go for a ride. Just see them, see the cars, see the thoughts.
Turning your attention now to your feelings in this moment, to your emotions, checking in. Notice what you are feeling right now, a particular mood, for example. Just take a moment to acknowledge this emotion, this mood at this time. Just being present with this and notice. Moving one step deeper now to notice the part of you that has been the witness, the one who has noticed the body, the part of you that has noticed the breath, the part of you that has noticed the feelings and emotions, and rest there in the witness, the part of you that has witnessed. Now allow your body, your mind, your being to begin to feel very expansive, like a cloud dissolving into blue sky. Envision this white fluffy cloud slowly, softly, effortlessly dissolving into blue sky. And as you expand and you feel this expansive feeling, noting bliss and ease arising, the bliss and ease that's a part of you that's always here, already achieved, already present. It is innate. Feel yourself filling with your own bliss, your own Being here with this bliss and ease, allowing this bliss and ease to happen. Now begin to come back into your breath. Feeling breath rising and falling. Gradually begin now to assist the breath. Lengthening the next inhalation, welcoming the breath in and up. And a longer cleansing exhale out and down. Staying close to the breath. Slowly move your fingers and your toes and maybe rock your head and neck around. And note the feeling of coming back into your physical body. Noting all of those sensations as you do. Bow the head, flutter the eyes open. We'll make our way into a tabletop position. So slowly making your way into tabletop. Coming off of your support and using that feeling of spaciousness still, possibly to come into this moment on hands and knees, noting how you feel. And then begin to rock the hips side to side, shifting your weight. Forward and back. And again, come into the body, the feelings present. We want to connect to the felt experience, softening the mental commentary. Right? The mind is designed to think a lot, it should. Right? So when we notice ourselves drifting away today from our practice, we can just come back. Home to the breath, home to the body, and how we are right now. Tuck the toes under, sit back, hips to heels, and see if you can bow the head to the floor, feeling a nice stretch through the spine. Let go of the weight of the head, and if it's too much flexion in the knee happening right now, and this isn't comfortable, lift the hips slightly. You can also just stack your forearms and let the head hang like this, or on the forearms. Just listening to your body. Every day is different. Let's take a few breaths here. Again, patient and smooth. Patient and smooth breath. Feel your back body breathing. The backs of the lungs fill and empty. Take the time to just simply be and connect to that wave of inhale and the wave of exhale. The breath our meter into the present moment, the only moment that exists right now. On your next inhale, lift the head and gaze. We're going to slowly come into cobra. So if you are drawing 
with your nose, a marble on the floor. You can slowly push that marble with your nose, arriving into Bhujangasana, baby cobra, pressing into the pubic bone and grounding the thighs and toes, hands by the sides of the chest, squeeze the elbows and lift the front of the shoulders up. Now, if there's wrinkles in the back of the neck, we want to take those out. So reach the crown forward, feel that integrity in your spine, and lift the back of the skull. Let your back do that work. Very little weight in the hands. Take a breath in from pelvis and let it blossom into your chest and throat. And on your exhale, we're going to keep our lower half anchored and just hover the forehead. Inhale, the breath lifts the body back into baby cobra. Exhale, lengthen as you lower pubic bone, pressing into earth. Last time here, we inhale. Exhale, tuck toes under, keep the elbows hugging into the side ribs, push into centers of each palm, and press up your table. Sit back, hips to heels. Then when you're ready, come back from table, push the earth away, hover your knees and shins, step right foot back, left foot back, plank. Instead of sagging here, push the earth away, lift your skull, lift your ribs, point your tail back, curl the pubic bone up toward the belly a bit, and a little bend to knees. Let your tail lead the way downward facing dog, coming into Adho Here you can pedal out your feet, rock your head and your neck, side to side. Let the armpits wrap towards the heart here, and feel that connection toward your midline and stability. On your next inhalation, keep equal weight in your hands, lift the right leg high. Feel the strength and stability in your left leg as you lift that right leg up. Give your inner thighs a little hug to keep the hips nice and level, beautiful. And then glide forward into plank, stack the shoulders over the wrist, strong back leg. Hug the knee in and one or many steps to bring that right foot right in between your hands. Fingertips underneath the shoulders, we take a slightly wider stance here and just take a moment to rock forward and back, opening the hips and groin. Sometimes we hold a lot in the lower half, the pelvis, the groin, the hips, so let this just kind of lead out. Strong back leg, so what I mean by that is plugging through that left heel to you feel that left glute turn on, right? And then from there, we breathe the heart forward, inhale, exhale, hold. Round the left fingertips slightly forward of the left shoulder. Inhale, the right arm high. Only so high where we don't move the hips. Three breaths. Let the inhale fill you up. Let the exhale soften and soothe hard edges of body and mind. Good. One more. Inhale here. Shine a little brighter together. And exhale. Right hand to the mat. Plug down into both hands. Lift the navel. Lifting up through your seat to step the right foot back. Feel the core bring the right foot back to down dog. Inhale fully. Exhale, let it go. Ground evenly into both hands. Inhale, strong right leg. Inhale, left leg high. And hold to your hips are level. Try not to open the hip. Flex the left ankle. Feel the power through that heel. Little hug of inner thighs towards each other. Right, and then glide forward, shoulders over wrists, get long through the spine, strong back leg, draw left knee in. One or many steps to bring that foot to the top of the mat. Fingertips under the shoulders, and then we'll rock here. Rocking lens feet back to eventually find the center, right? So the left knee is over the ankle, beautiful. And then just rocking here. You can tend to steeple the fingertips, feel that hollow in the center of the palm. One side's gonna maybe feel very good. It's okay. And then we hold here in the middle. We take a breath in. Lead the heart forward. Plug through back heel so you feel that glute turn on. Exhale, soften the heart edges. Right hand slightly forward of the shoulder. Next inhale, left arm high, twisting from the waist. Three breaths. Feel your legs working for you. The spine getting longer with each inhalation. Mm. One more here, inhale, fill up. Exhale, left hand to the mat, both hands to the earth. And again, hollow the abdomen, so sort of lift up through your center to bring the left foot back. Downward dog. Next inhalation, you come into a hovering tabletop. So stack shoulders over wrists, bend the knees, 
hips over knees, gaze slightly forward. Exhale, rotate pelvis, let your pelvis lead the way to come back into downward dog. So feel your roots, push the earth away as you inhale, hovering table. Push the earth away as you exhale, Adho Mukha. One more, inhale, hovering table. Hold here, then we're gonna lower left shin, right shin, cat cow, inhale, arch. Exhale, pressing into tops of feet, round and follow up. Inhale, arching. Soften the throat, smooth the forehead. Exhale, rounding. And just roll through. Notice just from a little bit, right? Big little things. A little goes a long way. Feeling that shift in your energy, your breath. No game changes. Good. Last one. We'll do a little core work here and stability. Keep equal weight in your hands. Now it's easy to collapse in the shoulder blades and the ribs like this. So we want to avoid this for the next series by simply pushing the earth away, keeping the shoulders on the upper back and the neck long. Lifting ribs, pointing the tail towards the wall behind you. We're going to hover our right shin. Now imagine you're holding something behind the knee and flex your right ankle. So hover the right shin, equal weight in the hands, flex the right ankle, gaze forward. Without swaying around, we're going to inhale, reach the soles straight up, lift the knees, inner thighs gently hug toward, toward each other. Exhale, squeeze the knee to nose, nice and slow so we can feel that work. Inhale, lift, avoid sinking the ribs too much towards the ground, resist there, exhale, hug. Inhale, lift, gaze lift, stir soft, exhale, hug. Now this time we're going to lengthen and extend the right leg straight back, hip height, and add the left arm. If that's too much for any reason, bring left hand back down. Right? Inhale, breathe length. Exhale, squeeze the knee and the elbow towards each other. Inhale, breathing, center to periphery, get long. Exhale, hugging in, close. Two more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hug. Inhale, lengthen, feel the core work. The core holds us throughout the entire day. Exhale, back to table. Take a moment and just swirl the hips clockwise a few times, and then counter a few times, just letting that work go on that side. Two halves make a whole. So whatever we do to one side, let's do to the other. So we'll come back to neutral here. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me. You can repeat that last sequence on the opposite side and then rest in the child's pose for about a good minute just to settle the energy. Have a lovely day, namaste.